see beautiful things and always have you in that view I wanna fuck you in Paris, I do I wanna sleep on the moon There's just something about airports that makes me feel so... I don't know, so blown up or something I always feel so different on an airport or something Like I'm on my way to a different version of me in a different place and time zone and whatever it's weird. I just can't wait to be in Paris and drink Café Allé with soy milk and eat macaron. <sighs> Neat. Just casually walking over Pont de Ar, where Sartre, one of my favorite philosophers ever, actually just thought and chilled and walked and talked and breathed and whatever. Although it's uh, not very sunshiny today, I'm still wearing an outfit that would be way too cold in the Netherlands. And I don't know, I'm just, I just really wanted to visit this bridge, to be honest. I've been so in touch with philosophy lately and it feels amazing to be in the spot where my favorite philosopher ever lived so yeah pretty pretty cool Time for a room tour. Okay, guys, you're never going to guess, but this is the actual back of the Louvre. The view is literally the Louvre and the Eiffel Tower. I mean, I just can't. I literally can't. It's so fucking cute. This is the view. Then we have another window here. Super pretty. I really just want to sit here and read my Sartre book that I brought with me. Here's the bedroom. We have a double bedroom. Very nice. Love the art on the wall. And then again, the lovely view. So nice. And this is the living room. We have a couch. That's my beloved Gucci Dionysus bag and a very big TV. Then some books here. And this is our little kitchen. Hi. By the way, quick outfit of the day, now that we're here. Um, I was wearing a vest from uh, Zara. Then this blouse is from weekday. My jeans are also from weekday. And my shoes are from Alexander Wang. This is the bathroom. Toilets. Vanity. Me again and the shower. Today is actually my deadline for my application to apply to George Washington Law School in DC and today is the deadline to like um, hand in your personal statements and your CV and everything and yesterday was my last exam for philosophy so I'm so tired so dead. By the way people that are wondering about my suitcase this is my new suitcase and it's the biggest size from Suit Suit and I got it uh, through bagageonline.nl I'll link it down below and I really like their service because they delivered this to me in one day. I did get this suitcase gifted but I do really like it. I think it's literally the prettiest suitcase ever. I love the color and it's also very spacious and it's also like very nice to walk with because I always travel a lot like I literally walk a lot with my suitcase because I always travel from Groningen to Amsterdam so in a train I'm like sitting and walking constantly so I really enjoy suitcases that have like nice wheels and this one definitely does so I do recommend it Talk to me You make me feel like I'm the one If there's something we ain't done You won't hesitate for none Let's try something Take my 
ahead and don't let go I'm about to let you know Tell me what you waiting for I'm about it cause you so about it I'm falling cause you falling for me And I tell you cause you ain't told me It's been good getting to know Honestly guys, this is why I love my job. I work together with so many companies and so many brands, but, but it's always so nice if somebody just uh, goes the extra mile for you and does something like this. I actually got this from the team of Sweet In and um, yeah, <laughs> I just think that's so cute and so nice and I'm definitely going to enjoy it, although I'm so full of tiramisu right now that I can't think of any more chocolate, but tomorrow I can probably eat chocolate again, so yeah, but this is just super nice and uh, yeah, I can't wait to enjoy my stay here even more. Tonight is actually my deadline for my application for uh, studying abroad. Literally guys, you're the best because um, you honestly helped me out so much because so many of you actually responded to my message saying uh, like, oh, can you please check uh, my personal statement because I have no idea if I'm doing this right, I've never done this before and the whole mentality here in the Netherlands is completely different when it comes to personal statements and that kind of stuff. And so many of you responded and wanted to check it for me um, and now I'm going to read through all of your um, recommendations and that kind of stuff. So yeah, you definitely helped me out a lot. If you're not following me on Snapchat, by the way, my Snapchat is Lil Nappy Harris. So that's what I'm going to do then. After I'm finished with that, I think I'm going to do a little live session because I'm in the mood for a live session on Instagram. So also follow me on Instagram if you want to get like um, a lot of Q&A's with me or a live study, real-time study sessions. So yeah, follow me on Instagram. My username is lilylycom and all my links are down below by the way. So now I'm going to check my personal statements and hopefully... <laughs> I don't know, hopefully be in Washington DC in a year, that would be pretty cool. It's finally time to submit my application. I think it's... Oh my god! Okay, it's time to send this. I did it! Ah! Did it. Beautiful things and always have you in that view. I wanna fuck you in Paris, I do. I wanna sleep on the moon Whisper my dreams Wait on the universe to give me things Wait on the universe, know what I mean Baby, I love the way that you are Oof. Love it whenever we fuck Forever whenever we make love I want a family with you Forever whenever we make love I want a family with you I wanna know you for years and find a place for us to live in that. Wanna read your mind, I wanna get inside you. It feels weird to be back here. I have memories here with people I don't really wanna think about anymore. So I'm happy that I'm here again and I kind of can refresh, or not refresh, but delete and make new memories instead of that. So that's pretty cool and people are looking so fucking weird at me <laughs> because I'm talking and they're all very old and they're like, what the fuck is vlogging? That moment when you just woke up and then see the police outside of your window. I hear on the news that somebody has shot something, someone, I don't know, there were gunshots in the Louvre. This is the Louvre. <laughs> Luckily I'm safe and stuff, but um, yeah, that's quite interesting. Hopefully nobody got hurt. Okay, so I'm just reading uh, on the Dutch news about it. Luckily it was just one person that had a knife with them and uh, soldier started shooting at him because he was attacked um, so luckily it's not something terroristic or something so yeah um, that's it that's the incident luckily it's not that bad it's kind of weird to see I'm not saying it's not a big deal it's awful but here in Paris I'm right now in the Louvre itself and 
there's nothing going on here like no policemen like people are just walking here it's very quiet i do have to say this is the back side so i'm not sure how it is in the front and in the museum itself maybe it's chaos there but it's so weird to see how uh, subjective media is and how they paint a picture of a certain situation but yeah it's still very awful and um, yeah I just don't understand why people like this do stuff for religion or something I don't understand it Time for a room tour! So this is our room. We're now in Hotel de Nel, it's called. And it's smaller than our previous apartment in um, Sweet Inn, but this is a hotel room of course and not an apartment. But it is very nice. <laughs> Big bed, love it. Then here we have kind of a walk-in closet. Very nice. I don't know about you guys, but I always love the fact when um, parts in a cloning um, closet are kind of lit up. I think it looks so cool. Then we also have a mini bar, coffee station. And this is the room from the other side. And then we have the most spectacular view ever. Look at this. Hope you're not afraid of heights. But this is so cool. I love this. Oh my god, we actually have three balconies, so that's amazing. Then we have a full length mirror. Hi. And I'm wearing my new bag from Alexander Wang, by the way, and this sweater dress from Topshop. And I had shoes on from Nelly that I took off. Um, but uh, yeah, I love the fact that we have a full length mirror because we didn't have one in our previous apartment and I definitely missed it. And okay guys, now the best part about this room. It's a Japanese inspired bathroom and it's probably one of the prettiest bathrooms I've ever seen. Ta-da! Look at this. I mean, this is true perfection. I just can't wait to lay in this bath. How cool is this? And they actually have a spa that uses Nux, yeah, Nux products. And Nux has my favorite body oil ever. So, and I actually ran out of it a couple months ago. So I'm definitely going to stock up on the oil, but I'm very curious to try this one out. And they also have tea bag for bath from Bulgari, which is also very nice. And then this is the shower, a rain shower. So yeah, super pretty, I'm obsessed with this bathroom, can't wait to take pretty selfies and pictures in this beautiful mirror. How cute is this? We just had a kind of extra room service and they brought us some chocolates. And we also have these kind of little cakes. But the best thing is, is that I got a miniature sample of the Nukes body oil and I was literally telling you that I really want to get it. Now I have this travel friendly one, which is perfect because you can actually, like an oil like this is so concentrated that it lasts a very long time. So you don't really need to bring the whole bottle. So this is perfect, but I'm also going to get the bigger size because I love it so much. very lovely but unfortunately we could only stay one night but I did have the best bath ever so yeah if you want a hotel with the prettiest bathroom ever definitely check out this hotel and now we're going to our last hotel which is hotel 
mysteries Forever is a long time And I can't ever say I won't be wrong I guess I knew I could have done better I couldn't say I guess I never did try Time for a room tour from our new hotel, Hotel Teresa. And uh, this is the first room, the door's already open. Hi there. Um, so this is a walk-in closet. Every girl's dream, isn't it? So this is my suitcase and this is my mom's suitcase. So um, yeah, very lovely. Enough space, enough hangers and some very nice Oh my god, they're super soft. <laughs> um, bathrobes. Then, in the other room we have the bathroom. And it's a very simple, nice bathroom. And the products are from Frey, Fre, which is, I think it means uh, true in uh, French. Looks nice. Shower, nice, big shower. Toilet. <laughs> And then here we have a little uh, coffee station, and water, very nice. Yep. And this is the best part. This is our bed. Super nice big bed. Can't wait to chill on this bed and have breakfast in it. And that's my lovely Gucci Dionysus bag. I'm obsessed with it. Then here is some of my stuff. And then we also have two desks and the location is also really nice um, it's very close to Palais uh, Jardin du Palais Royal which is one of my favorite places to visit in uh, Paris because it's so beautiful and oh my god is it raining again if it is I'm going to cry no I don't think so I guess I'll never know now Oh, you always could tell And where do I go from here? I always thought it'd be made clear Before I know anyone else If I knew what trust was, I'd give it out. And if I knew what time man I'd spend it with a little care, a little care. If love was breaking up, don't feel the same no more. And frankly, I don't want to play. Times I just wanted to better And I wonder if I'm too young to settle I worry that I'm too old tonight But knowing that you deserve better I can never keep you here on life I can never keep you here on life Yeah, next song is Take you all over the world, get everything for my baby girl. Wanna find out which fit I prefer. 
word When you try I'm on give me a twirl I wanna see you baby I want you for life I know you're the perfect type I know I should be more open with you I know you care because we fight I know you care cause you're there for me Even if you're barely here for me I've been in the dark seeking light That's why I think about you late at night